I'm Jen. And I'm Steve-O. From Two Can Travel. And so can you. Before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It really helps our channel grow. And if you've already subscribed, thank you very much and welcome back. If you're planning to start long-term travel or the digital nomad lifestyle soon, and you're wondering what to do about medical insurance and travel insurance, then we've got you covered in this video. We'll also tell you what we've personally done for insurance these past 10 years, a little bit about us. We've been living, traveling, and working around the world since 2011, and we've been digital nomads since 2018. Along with this YouTube channel, we also have a lot of free content for you on our travel blog, toucantravel.com. Free? The main things we look for with travel insurance are having coverage for emergencies. So that could be if you get into an accident or you get very sick, then we want to make sure we're covered for that. It's actually much cheaper to get preventative medical care abroad than it would be back in the US. So we're totally comfortable paying for those things out of pocket. There are two main insurance companies that the majority of travelers and digital nomads use. Those are World Nomads and Safety Wing. World Nomads has been around since 2002. The company has grown a lot since then and now covers people from over 130 countries worldwide. World Nomads offers two different types of plans, the Standard Plan and the Explorer Plan. The Standard Plan includes a range of activities including overseas medical coverage, some coverage for your belongings, coverage for certain activities, and pre-trip cancellation. The Explorer Plan is a bit more expensive because it covers you for a wider range of activities and has higher benefit limits. It's important to know that you can't upgrade from the Standard Plan to the Explorer Plan while you're already traveling, so you need to plan ahead based on what types of activities you want to do when you're traveling. For example, if you are traveling in South Africa and you think it's a good idea to go cage diving with sharks, if you are on the Standard Plan, that activity is not covered and you will not be able to upgrade to the Explorer Plan where that is actually covered. If you're telling people what you're gonna be doing on your vacation and they say, that's kind of crazy, the Explorer plan is for you. <laughs> Another easy way to see the difference between the two plans is getting an instant quote, which then shows you the benefit summary of each plan. The online quote will tell you how much each plan costs and there will be a link to the actual coverage so you can see exactly what each plan covers. We'll leave a link below so you can get an instant online quote. It's very important to consider nowadays your COVID coverage. World Nomads does cover some medical costs when it comes to COVID. According to their website, those coverages might include emergency evacuation, emergency medical treatment, trip cancellation. However, you really need to read the fine print of your plan because there are a lot of exemptions and that coverage differs depending where you're from. Let's start with the pros. World Nomads covers you for the most important things. They cover medical evacuations, they have a 24-hour emergency assistance line, and they cover a wide range of adventure sports. You can sign up for coverage even if you're already traveling, and if you decide to keep traveling for longer, you can extend your coverage online. You can also make claims online through the World Nomads website. Another benefit with World Nomads is that you are covered in the US as long as you're traveling over 100 miles away from your home. Of course, not all travel insurance is perfect, and there are some cons with World Nomads. World Nomads does offer some coverage for the things you bring with you on your travels, but their coverage is quite limited when it comes to electronics. So if you have a lot of tech gear, you'll probably want to purchase an additional insurance policy to cover that from another company. World Nomads prices change according to your age, and they don't cover anyone over 69 years old. Nice. No, not nice. The cost of a policy can also differ depending on where you're traveling to and where you come from. Policies become cheaper the longer you travel, so a short trip might end up being more expensive. We're not telling you these cons because we want to scare you off, but we just want to be honest about what World Nomads covers and what they don't so you know what to expect. However, you really need to read the fine print of your plan because there are a lot of exemptions and that coverage differs depending where you're from. So make sure you read your full policy. It's important for you to check into all of your coverage yourself because things can change. There are links below to read more about World Nomads coverage and to get an instant quote. The next company we're talking about is Safety Wing. We currently use Safety Wing and started using them in 2021. Honestly, because we wanted to try them out. Safety Wing is a Norwegian company that was founded in 2017, and it was founded by digital nomads for digital nomads. It's a subscription-based travel and medical insurance company for freelancers and remote workers who are working abroad. Safety Wing currently has three different products. 
They have nomad insurance, which is what we have, and they also have remote insurance for nomads and remote insurance for companies. So what we'll be talking about right now is their nomad insurance. One of the reasons we went with Safety Wing is their COVID-19 coverage. On their website, Safety Wing says that COVID-19 coverage is covered the same as other illnesses, as long as it wasn't contracted before you started your policy. Another pro is that Safety Wing covers pretty much everybody in the world, the few exceptions being Iran, Syria, North Korea, and Cuba. We love how flexible Safety Wing insurance is because you can get it while you're already traveling and then extend it through their subscription model. With the subscription model, your coverage renews every four weeks, which we really like, so we don't have to keep thinking about buying new policies and adding in new dates. Another great thing about Safety Wing is that the coverage is the same no matter where you go. You don't even have to tell them where you're going. The only countries that they don't cover are Cuba, Iran, Syria, and North Korea. Safety Wing even offers you coverage in your home country. They give you 30 days of coverage for every 90 days of your policy, except for Americans who get 15 days of coverage for every 90 days of your policy. If you're traveling as a family, they even offer free coverage for kids. Up to two children under the age of 10 can be added, one for each adult. They cover a wide range of adventure activities, though not all. It's important to check the policy. The price for Safety Wing insurance is also a lot lower than other insurance companies, including World Nomads. Safety Wing keeps costs low by focusing on the essentials for nomads like emergency medical coverage, but they don't cover things like trip cancellation. Safety Wing doesn't cover any stolen luggage or electronics. Unfortunately, insurance coverage with Safety Wing gets more expensive the older you get, and they don't cover anyone over the age of 70. It's important to note that Safety Wing is not a primary health insurance, so like all other travel insurances, they don't cover pre-existing conditions, or things like cancer treatments, routine checkups, that type of thing. Safety Wing's maximum payout is $250,000, which is actually lower than other insurance companies. Safety Wing doesn't cover as many adventure activities as World Nomads does, so take into account what wacky adventures you wanna get into when choosing your insurance. So to sum it all up, Safety Wing and World Nomads are both great options. It really just depends what you plan to do during your travels and what you want to be covered and what you're comfortable with. So if you want additional coverage for your belongings or you plan to do more adventurous activities, then the World Nomads Explorer plan might be a better option for you. As digital nomads, Safety Wing makes the most sense for us right now as it covers the most important things to us, which are unexpected medical emergencies. But again, we're just providing information today about these different options, so you need to read the full policy coverage yourself to decide what is the best option for you. You can read more about what coverage each company provides on their websites, linked below. When we first moved abroad in 2011, we moved to China to teach kids how to talk English goodly, and we always had our medical insurance provided by our employer. During our travels between contracts and during holidays, we would supplement our Chinese health insurance with travel insurance through World Nomads. From 2015 to 2018, we lived in Phnom Penh, Cambodia, where we both worked in education. And at that time, our jobs provided us money for medical coverage, but they didn't provide us medical insurance, so we had to go out and buy that ourselves. At that time, we used a French company, a French broker, to purchase international insurance that covered us for Asia. That insurance was through a company called Luma, and you can look them up. They offer worldwide coverage and regional coverage. That coverage worked out really well for us, and we continued to use it as we began our digital nomad lifestyle. About eight months into our new digital nomad life, I found out that I had a tumor on my ovary. We were in Bangkok, Thailand at the time, and I ended up getting surgery at a local hospital there to have the tumor removed. I'm totally fine now. Luma covered all of that expense, except for a couple of outpatient visits. Our policy with Luma was definitely more expensive than travel insurance policies are. However, because I had had that surgery, we decided to hold on to that insurance for longer because I now have a pre-existing condition. So we kept that insurance through the next year into 2020, and then COVID hit. <laughs> and we really weren't sure what to do, but it turned out that Luma was covering us for COVID. In 2021, we traveled back to the United States and we were able to enroll in Obamacare due to the rolling signup. And we got a huge subsidy from Joey B, so thanks for that. Now cancel my student debt. And then when we left the US to begin traveling again in June, 2021, that's when we signed up for Safety Wing. We set aside money for routine medical and dental checkups just to make sure that everything still works. 
And then we have our travel insurance to cover the unexpected and unforeseen accidents and illnesses that could happen. So that is what we're comfortable with, but you have to do what makes the most sense for you. We really hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, if you have, thank you so much. And thank you all for being here. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Emergency medical evacuation. Emergency dental treatment. Travel delay and loss of language. It also covers emergency travel related